three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranch here, Brio Talk of Commentary. Round of 16 continues. Group D first set. Fantasy versus Bisu! Oh yeah! Oh man. It's probably the matchup everybody's looking forward to the most. Rematch. Rematch of the OSL, the Batu OSL semifinals where Fantasy 3 0'd Bisu and robbed everybody of a Bisu versus Jadon clash in the finals, which I'm sure everybody was expecting. Fantasy robbed Bisu of his OSL, robbed Bisu of a chance at the finals, and well, <laughs> let's see, Bisu most likely out for revenge. It's going to be Xantium 3, Bisu at the lower left hand as the pink toss. And Fantasy as the 10 player at the lower right hand. I believe he was teal or blue. We'll get the colors in a second. Yeah, see, just to say that it is indeed teal. So that's lower left, Bisu pink, lower right, teal Terran Fantasy. Man, I am so looking forward to this. Fantasy's TVP has improved insanely lately. He's gotta be one of the best if not the best tvp player at this very moment at this very moment he's playing insane tvp doing really great overall and bisu's pvt has always been his weakness it's always been his weakness i will bet you you know i'll bet that if bisu did not have to face up up against uh fantasy in the semis in the last osl i'm guessing he would have won i'm guessing he would have won he would have gotten himself into the finals and possibly face against Jadong. But hey, this is how things happened. And that's the way it's going to go. Bisu going to put down his gate when his and his assimilator. I assume Fantasy is going to go for pretty standard play on the opposite side. We're going to see where he goes, what he goes for fairly soon. Rex now coming up. And Fantasy has been hot lately. He's been hot. Bisu is one of the best players in Pro League. Has been. I believe he's in the third spot right now, just behind Flash and Jadong. But Fantasy has been playing hot lately. Even, despite winning twice, well, I mean, sorry, losing twice, winning twice? What the hell am I talking about? Losing two OSL finals in a row. He's hot. He's hot. Jongbi loses two OSL finals in a row and goes on a slump. Bad slump, in fact. Fantasy, that just gives him even more determination, makes him even more fired up. All the fans over there are laughing like crazy. Cybernetic score coming up for Bisu now sending out his scout the upper left hand and Fantasy sending his scout out at the upper right hand. So both are going to take a long time to scout each other. But yeah, I've just been surprised at how hot Fantasy has been playing lately. Playing very solidly, very well overall. And I really look forward to seeing what he can do against Bisu here. Whether he can take him down yet again. Factory coming up for Fantasy just now. And both players are finally going to circle around. We're going to see, yeah, Fantasy is going to go for the upper left hand. For Zilla now, out for Bisu. Actually scouting the lower right. As his probe runs towards the upper right. So the Zilla is going to run inside of Fantasy's base. But uh, only one Marine blocking so far for Fantasy. So the Zilla is going to be able to run past that one Marine. There is another Marine on the way. But the Zilla, if it's only one Marine, is going to be able to run past with no hu huge problems. Now let's see here, looking at the polls, 58% actually think Fantasy will win, while 42% think that Beast will win. So more people are actually favoring Fantasy in this matchup. And of course, these these guys are teammates, they know each other's play, they kind of know what should have a fairly good idea of what the other player is capable of. They kind of, they practice together constantly, maybe not <laughs> while they're going to play each other, but you know. That's the way that is. Machine Jump coming up for Fantasy. Has three Marines not blocking his ramp. There is a Dragoon on the way. We're going to see whether Beast tries to push in with a Dragoon Zealot and tries to take on those four Marines in SCV. I don't think he's going to he's going to be able to do that. The one Dragoon is going to run it out, but the Marines are going to engage in SCV. He's going to push it back in Bisu. Just going to try to possibly hold the ramp, possibly try to pick something off, but he's going to be very careful. Dragoon heavily damaged at this point. Almost loses all of his shield, so now Bisu is going to be forced back and not going to be able to put on any more pressure, but he is definitely going to know when Fantasy is going to expand. He's going to be able to keep on the pressure. And I'm not quite sure where Fantasy went. He got his initial factory. I not didn't quite see whether he cut. He's getting a lot of Marines. Six Marines at this point. Still getting full, uh, absolutely full gas mining. So he's most likely going for a push here. Yeah, he has his six Marines, has his tank, a couple SUVs. He's going to push out, take his natural expansion fairly soon. But this is kind of the usual turn push. Only I think he needs one more tank. To facilitate this, unless he decides to go for this right here, three dragoons and a zealot for Bisu should be enough to defend. 
And Fantasy, yeah, it's now going to put it down his natural expansion beast a little bit before that. And Fantasy most likely researching mines at this stage. Has those six marines and that tank. And actually moving his vulture to the north side. For whatever reason, not going to run in here. Going to meet the zealot. The zealot is going to be doomed. But that's mostly there for uh, for timing. Dragoons are actually moved out a little bit north. So we're going to see what the beast is actually going to try to do. Some sort of funky attack. Try to catch something off guard. Is going to kill that SCV scout, and Sidhu Vadoon coming up for Beast Suit, while Fan is going to move back, plant down a couple mines, has a couple vultures down out, so he's going to play a little defensively for now, while he gets a larger troop out. Yeah, Beast Suit is going to have his natural expansion a little bit before Fantasy, but neither player really has done any sort of damage so far, it's all going to come down to that. Uh, the timing and expansion is not going to become too big of a factor. Uh, Protoss Robotics facility coming up for Bisu, and he's adding a second gateway as well. Interesting one's going to go for, kind of has tech on both sides. Possibly thinking of going for Observers. Oh, he could either go for a quick Reaver Harass or Observers Reaver. Uh, just, we're going to see what he's going to pl uh, what he's going to do overall. Bisu versus Terran. I haven't seen, despite Bisu's, you know, he's not his best matchup, but I have seen Bisu play some some versus Terra, not as much as I would like to want to though. Temple Archives coming up, so this could be actually be a Dark Templar drop coming from Beast, who's possibly thinking of go going and doing some economic advantage. Some eco economic damage, I'm sorry here. Beast also putting down some pylons to partially blockade his natural expansion. But yeah, harassing style is really Beast's style of play, and Fantasy should know this. Fantasy should know, okay, right now, what Beast is going to want to do is come inside of my base and do some harassment, and Fantasy actually has a starboard up, and he's going to have a Wraith pumping. So he's he's definitely in the know. He's gonna have a wraith pumping just to intercept that shuttle. It's most likely gonna come in with Dyke Templar. Fantasy just reading Bisu just right off the bat. A hey, Bisu is a very harassment heavy player, and he knows this. And we're gonna see whether he manages to react quickly to whatever shuttle play could be coming from Bisu here. Bisu also getting his assimilator, his natural expansion, so he's gonna be doubling, getting some double gas. Observatory also coming in for Bisu. So first shuttle now out. And after that, yeah, Dark Templar drop coming in for BC2, Dark Templar inside that shuttle. He's not going to put in anything else, but he's going to try and do some harassment. Wraith will be ready in time to uh, counter that. We're going to see Fantasy actually moving his Wraith towards the north, so he's possibly expecting that Beast will circle around. Beast moving actually from the south, so if Fantasy doesn't spot this, could be in trouble. Now we're going to see the first person in view of Beast, so he's going to go for this right here. We're getting ready, is going to... Drop those forces right on top of natural expansion. Wraith coming in just at the right time. So Fantasy moved it around. Dark Templar did get dropped with our mines in positions. Not managing too much. Getting a few SCV kills, a couple of marine kills, but overall not much else done so far. Now fa first person of Fantasy finding out mines everywhere. He has no detection. Critically has no detection. He was relying possibly on that Wraith to take down possible shuttle, but he is going to be able to do, take care of these Dark Templar with these mines if he uses them correctly. Yes, yeah, some of these mines goes off. Not Okay, one Dark Templar still alive. Finally taken out by the mines. Beautiful mind placement there by Fantasy, and Bisu loses his harassment tools. Now Fantasy is going to be able to move back with his SCV. So other, the only thing that happened there was disruption. I think Bisu even lost his shuttle in the exchange, so that's a big loss for him. Stargate coming in from Bisu already. He's taking up quite quickly. Drops you in the opposite side coming in from Fantasy, so you might be going for a Vulture drop. Has that Wraith there just in case any more shuttles are going to be coming out. But now the Vulture is actually going to move, try to get past these pylons and dragoons. One of them gets taken out, two gets taken down. The rest move back. Quite even more dragoons coming in from the north. Going to kill one more vulture before anything else happens. But now Beast is going to put in uh, two vultures. I'm not quite sure. I don't think he put in a tank. He's just going to go with two vultures. Try to do some harassment. Beast who now has an observer. And I don't know if Beast who knows this is coming. Oh, yes, he does. Dragoons coming in, ready. The base are going to get dropped, and the shuttle is going to get taken out. Shuttle gets taken out, and. Vulture's not going to do much else than get a scout. They do scout the Arbiter Tribunal. BC going for two base Arbiters. Very, very quick Arbiters. So he, he's going to rely on very quick Arbiters to take this game for him. He has a lot of Dragoons on the ground. He's going to rely on getting himself cloaked for those and that, uh, taking advantage that way. Use those Arbiters for clo their cloaking purposes as well as, of course, Stasis. Possibly even thinking of going for recall. And Fantasy actually now taking a third base, so he's trying to push in his macro, getting his macro up. Really, Fantasy, you really see how he is the protege of Isle of UV, as well as Boxer. It goes for funky builds sometimes, but yet when it comes to macro, he can do it. He can play some serious macro. Gets a couple of vultures inside, so he's being overall annoying. The vulture terrorist here. He's going around to get a manage several probe kills. They put quite a few.